And if I never make it, then at least I left to go try. 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 First at a and now we smoking, joking, rolling, buzzing, sipping on forty ounces again. Come, come, we get to the fun. What's good, YouTube? We're here at Self Made Training Facility in Hollywood. Just getting started with our leg workout. Just warmed up on the treadmill for ten minutes, and uh, about to do a uh, solid leg routine. Listen, guys. It's not easy getting up this early, especially when you have a newborn child. Babies be waking up like every two hours or so. It's kind of rough to get good sleep, but this is only going to make me stronger. And this is how I look at everything in life. Everything that I've been through, everything that's tested me, I've always seen it as an opportunity to get stronger. Well, I wouldn't say always because I didn't always think this way. You know, I used to be like, oh, why is this happening to me? I used to have a victim mindset. Victim mindset never got me anywhere. So I read this book called Extreme Ownership one time by Jocko Willink. That's one of the books that changed my life because it taught me that to be just ridiculous about taking responsibility for your life, just everything, doesn't matter what it is. If, if someone cuts you off in traffic or whatever, it's your fault. If you're late or whatever, it's your fault. Everything is your fault. The moment that you can take extreme ownership and stop blaming people for your problems, the sooner you'll be able to take control of the things that you need to fix in your life. So stop blaming people for where you're at in life, in your relationships, wherever, and just start taking ownership of the things that you did wrong, that you can fix. And you'll see, your life will start to improve, but you gotta be honest with yourself. Cause lying never got me anywhere. It only got me in trouble. <laughs> I need a tan, bro. <laughs> And these legs. We got five sets on the leg curls. Five sets on the leg curls. Listen guys, this is what it's about right here. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you right now. This is what it's about right here, guys. Family, man. My family is my everything. That's what motivates me. That's what keeps me getting up every single morning when I'm dead tired, when I don't feel like it, when I'm thinking about quitting, when I'm thinking about cheating on my diet, when I'm thinking about not working out, not doing what I gotta do, I think about them. Because it's not about me, it's about them. And it's a great, um, it can be stressful, but it's a great responsibility to have, knowing that I'm responsible for their well, well-being, you know? Already did. She said I'm a really good 
New Vans. Guys, if you don't know, Vans are my favorite. Vans, if you're watching, please sponsor me because I literally only wear Vans and my steel toe boots for work, but that's about it. <laughs> White Vans, my favorite. I, I like the all black ones too, but my white vans are my favorite. Also because I got skinny feet. And I used to skate when I was a kid. So, skating, surfing, jujitsu, that's what I like to do. I don't like surfing though. I'm afraid of sharks. <laughs> I'm afraid of getting caught slipping by a shark in the ocean. Are you consistent or are you committed? Because there's a difference. People who are consistent show up time after time after time, but they're only consistent as long as they're motivated. They're only consistent as long as they're feeling it. Whereas people who are committed, they don't miss. People who are committed, they don't fold. People who are committed don't exit or look for a way out when things are getting bad, when things are getting rough, when the light starts to dim, when things start going wrong for them and their back is up against the wall and it doesn't seem like it's worth it to keep going and it just, it seems like they may be safer getting out while they can. People who are committed stick through it to the very end. If the boat's sinking, I'm sinking with it. That's the mindset of somebody who's committed. It's the same thing with somebody who's committed in their marriage because the United States has one of the largest divorce rates, right? In the last, like, I don't know how many years. It's because people are so quick to just look for a way out or just look for a new person, right? Social media has destroyed your ability to commit to someone because you're seeing all these people that are extremely attractive and extremely fit and good looking and you think that there's so many of them right but have you ever seen people like that in person it's very rare and why is that because people don't look like that in real life people aren't so perfect in real life people aren't that attractive don't get me wrong there are some attractive and beautiful people out there but the reality is instagram is a highlight reel instagram is nothing but the best of the best and you should understand that i'm not saying there's anything wrong with that but understand what you're being presented you're being presented the best photo out of the 300 400 that they took you know what i'm saying you're, you're being presented the best moments of the entire year in a 30 second clip right there's still 365 other days or 8,000 more hours that happened throughout the year that they didn't show you. They didn't show you when they got, you know, into a fight with their spouse. They didn't show you the time that they got, you know, drunk and wasted. Or maybe they did because some people be out there posting their life like that. They didn't show you the times where they were down and out and, and feeling depressed and looking at themselves in the mirror like, oh, I hate myself. I hate the way I look. Uh, I wish I had this, I wish I had a nicer nose, I wish I had bigger breasts, I wish I had six pack abs, or I wish I had, you know? People are always desiring more. And I've learned that the way that you eliminate that desire for things is just to become present in the moment. Just focus on now. And people who are committed don't desire anything because they already know what their purpose is, right? When you commit to something, you're focused on that one thing. Like I committed to my wife, I'm not focused on any other woman. I don't care about any other women. I'm not looking for any other woman. I'm committed. I'm committed to one woman, to giving my life to that person that I committed to. So I'm not out here looking for 
other people to entertain. I don't entertain any other women on social media. I don't uh, respond to comments. I don't comment on their photos. I don't like their photos unless my wife knows about it. If I respond to a woman, it's usually because it's someone who's like commenting about my music, like thank you for this song or this song really helped me through this time or a video. They might post something like I'm going through a hard time right now. This video really helped me. I'll respond to stuff like that. But if it's someone that's like trying to compliment me or say that I'm handsome or stuff like that, I'm just not going to respond to it because I'm committed. I'm committed to one woman. I'm committed to my wife. I'm not even worried about or thinking about the possibility of another woman like coming into my life. It doesn't even cross my mind. Are you consistent or committed? You got to really think about it. Like people who are consistent are usually seeking a result. Whereas people who are committed are seeking the feeling they get from the work that they do. They're present in the moment. I'm here because I validate myself and I get pleasure from knowing that I'm up earlier than all of you. I get pleasure from knowing that I didn't miss. I get pleasure from knowing that I'm disciplined, right? That motivates me. I get pleasure from knowing that I'm a man of my word. I'm doing what I said I was going to do. That my wife can count on me to do what I, I said I'm going to do. My son can count on me to do what I say I'm going to do. And in life, in your careers, in your relationships, you have to be committed. Otherwise, you're always gonna bounce from relationship to relationship, from career to career, from course to course, trainer to trainer, you know, video to video, and you're never gonna be satisfied because you're so fixed on the possibility of what if. Like, what if there's more? What if the grass is greener on the other side? And that's usually what gets people in trouble. That's always what gets people in trouble because they're not grateful for the present moment. Because the present moment is all that you have. Yesterday doesn't exist. Tomorrow doesn't exist either. All you have really in reality is right now, here, this moment, me speaking to you guys. That's it, you watching this video. This is all you have right now. So, pick something that you wanna do with your life. Sit down, turn everything off. Get a piece of paper and really just write down, what do I want my life to look like? What do I want to spend the rest of my life doing? Where do I want to be in five years? And then start focusing on how to get there. Start focusing on how to accomplish that. Because that's the only way you're going to get anything done in life. And fully commit to it. Don't just commit to doing it, you know, to kind of doing it. Like I did for so many years. I would say with my words that I was going to follow through on something. And I would for the most part, but there was always one or two things that I, I left out or one or two things that I would skip out on or tweak to, to fit my, my own comfort. You have to live life intentionally. You can't let life happen to you and you can't live, let things happen you know, by accident. Things don't happen by accident. Me training here at Self-Made Training Facility is not an accident. Me you know, meeting with Wes Watson and hiring him was not an accident. All of these things happened because I had a plan and I had a vision for my life and I was trying to figure out how to get there. And as I was trying to figure out how to get there, these certain people started you know, popping up in my life and I took the initiative to seek them out because they had something that I wanted and they were in a position in life where I want to be in the future. So you gotta look, look for the path, but you can't look for the path if you don't know where you're going. So first things first is you got to know where you're at so that you can plan out where you're going to go and then map out the directions to get there. So with that being said, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I hope you're enjoying these videos. I hope you're getting a lot of value from it. And I hope that you give back to people and share it with people to inspire them because people are hurting, man. People are hurting. People are really suffering internally. That's something that I've, I've noticed. We don't really see the suffering on the outside. A lot of it is people suffering internally, mentally, like emotionally. People are going through stuff and everybody puts on a front because they're afraid. They're afraid to be vulnerable. So you never know a simple text, a simple message, a simple DM, a comment, a compliment can really change and save someone's life. So yeah, man, just be better, do better. <laughs>